Hey everyone, me and my buddy Jack are out here in the woods. Also mom is too and uh, I've been digging in the river. The low was 58 today so the river was cold. But I probably dug around 12 pennies, 2 nickels, some lead weights and stuff. But um, we're at this old home site and it used to be infested with yellow jackets. Well since it's so cold, then you know they get in the ground. And I went over here and I got a solid hit with my fisher. I'm back using my fisher. I use my garret in the water, but my fisher is the best relic machine I've ever used. So I trust that thing no matter what. And on one of my videos, I dug a buffalo nickel up there, and I just got an awesome hit up here. I mean, awesome. It was showing up as like a dime, and uh, it bounced to a nail. So I dug it. And check out that thing. That is an old freaking car person in it wow unbelievable man that's the best find of the day for land man let's keep on digging see what else we can come up with here's the location uh, Jack's down there he found about 120 pounds of copper wire like off insulator poles and uh, man it's just laying out there so we're definitely gonna take that coppers worth about four dollars and something so you know solid copper too We'll keep on digging around in here and uh, hopefully end of the day I will uh, use my GoPro and record out in the water and show y'all a little bit about what we're doing out there. Here's my Pro Pointer. I got it all waterproofed up. Okay, I dug that little toy cart right there. Check out this. John signal 7576 with the Fisher. I bet it's another car. And that would just be so amazing. Now, a coin would be even awesomer. I'm trying to be careful where I'm digging, you know. Okay, let's see. I think I see it. Oh my god. Freaking big. God, that's got to be a coin. Man, is that a large scent? What in the world is that? It's just like a large scent. No, it's. The token looks like God is right beside that car. That's it, I think. That's it. Ah, got a spider web on me. Sorry about that. Wow, unbelievable. Has some writing on it. Well, I want to clean it up and get back to you in a second. Well, I have Jack over here now, and Mom's over there. And uh, here's the coin. It says Hot Point. And some writing on it. Oops, dropped it. Anyway, uh, I have to clean it up later. Not sure how old it is, but it's a great find. Hey everyone, down here by the river, and uh, see these big, humongous rocks. Way bigger than I am. Watch what I'm doing. Um, big overlook of the river here. Nice view. Bottle cap. See the bottom there. I bet people would throw coins off the ledge up here at the very top. And uh, for whatever. Very deep here to go swimming. Okay, we've been looking for a meal for about 15 minutes now. And uh, we're out here and I just can't believe we found this. 1851 is when it was built and you gotta check this out. Look at it. I mean, it's like a freaking cellar hole. The thing is, they're gonna make a gas station here in about two months. Wow. That is unreal. I mean, it's like we're up there in New England. Look at that rock wall. Imagine how much time it took to make that. Unbelievable. Because I've seen a bank. And I, this is going to be an awesome site to hit, especially beside the creek. Tomorrow, this is going to be the first place we're hitting. Wow, that is so unreal. Big hole here. Not many yellow jackets out because it's cold. So. 
Wow, I want to get up on there and check it out some more. Day two, uh, digging with Jack in red old house here. 1800s for sure. Dug a large scent over there. And uh, a long time ago, people uh, would use large scents as washers for on their tin roof. Because a washer, iron washer would cost around two cents back then, and it was cheaper just to use two large scents as two separate washers. Well, I've been changing sites a lot. The river didn't work out too well, lots of trash. Did like 10 cents, but over here, back at this house again, and they're digging, I got a good signal. Back here, it was just going crazy on the fisher. And as you can tell, I use my fisher on land, my AT Pro around water, and um, here it is. It's a watch, part to one. It says dust proof. Dust, huh. That's well, not dirt proof. Anyway, get back to you, find something else. Okay, there's a deer out there. Right, right there. There she is. Bambi. Where's my 30 out six? <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave it alone. Hopefully, it can go to someone's house over there and get something to eat. People. <laughs> there she is. It's about 15 feet away. Snowy little deer. Am no good to eat? Huh? Thank you. She's not scared of <laughs> She's not. Hey everyone, uh, it's the end of the day and we're out here at a house built in 1800. It's an old sucker. Never been detected by anyone. So, first people to dig here in like a 211 years. So, let's get to it. See how many large scents we can find. Hey everyone, here's most of my finds. Um, besides the trash, of course. Most of this lead in here, at least about 15 uh, pieces. It's found on another water hunt, but I did get this nice car, and uh, I think it's a Met toy. It has some writing right here. It looks like it says Met toy, old Met toy. So that's pretty pretty cool find there. Pretty happy with that. And uh, another good find of the hunt is a Hot Point 50th anniversary uh, spinner token, because uh, on this side it has a little hump on it. And it will actually spin if you put it on a hard surface and spin it. So I thought that was cool. And I guess Hot Point's a game. And it says, first with the finest for 50 years on the back there. And then I got, I did get some clad, like 30 cents in clad, which is in my clad jar. And um, just some other little odds and ends. That watch. Most of the sites we went to were hunted really hard. The 1800 plantation was hit by deer hunters back in the 70s. It was used as a deer hunting lodge, and they must have metal detected that place good because the only thing we found was 1980s and 90s trash and modern money. So, until next time, hope everyone's doing good out there detecting. Find some great stuff and make some videos.